Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here. Thanks for watching. Um, today's just going to be a video about update on my 300 gallon, eight foot long African cichlid tank. Some really cool news coming up about what's going to be changing, what's going to be a, a little bit different. Um, but we'll continue for now. So a lot of times I put too much thought into coming up with video topics, titles, subjects. I get too cute with it. When really, you know, 99% of you, all you want to see is the fish and you want me to shut up, which I get it. When I watch other people's videos, I normally just want to see the fish. <laughs> no, uh, no offense intended. But what we need to do is just a nice update on this 300. It is looking fairly bare now. I think, what is there, 11 to 13 fish, something like that. Tyrannochromus nagraventor, Champsochromus crawlius, the trout. Um, that makes up the bulk of the inhabitants of this tank. But that's going to change very, very soon. Um, I know it's bare now. And speaking of bare, check out this one, 25. <laughs> Boy, is that going to change really, really soon. Uh, one of my next upcoming videos is going to be an epic unboxing. Well, epic from my point of view. Uh, for you that like rare haps, rare predator haps, uh, I think you'll find it epic as well. So back at the 300, which is the intent of the video, um, it is an eight foot long, uh, 300 gallon, custom made by glasscages.com, 96 inches uh, in length, 30 inches front to back, which is a huge deal if you're trying to breed some of these predators. That extra six inches goes a long, long way. And the height is 25 inches, but I wouldn't want that taller anyway because it's harder to reach the bottom. So the main background, as I've said before, that's Universal Rocks. Uh, the plants are from EliteCichlids.com. I do have a promo code for Elite Cichlids if you want custom-made plants. Check that out in the description. And the rocks are a mix of Aqua Decor and Universal Rocks. Uh, the main driver of this specific video is, it's you know, it's about the tank in general, but it's about one specific fish and what's been going on. And that one specific fish, and they're breeding now, which I couldn't be more thrilled about, is this Tyrannochromus nigraventor. I have him, he's wild, and I have three wild females. Obviously that makes a wild breeding group. And they just started breeding, and I don't say it often because I've had a lot of African cichlids over the years, over the decade, uh, a lot. You guys know I used to have a star sapphire that I referenced as some of, one of the nicer fish I've ever had. I also had a Protomelis ornatus that I considered one of the nicer fish I've ever had. In person, I think you would agree I don't know if it comes across on video that well, but this Tyrannochromus nigraventor is probably the nicest predator hap that I've ever owned in the uh, in the realm of its color its and its shape. It's only seven, seven and a half inches. This thing might double in size. It's certainly possible. For sure, it'll get 10 and 11 inches without question, but it is one of the nicer predator haps I've ever owned, if not the nicest. Uh, the shape color, level of dominance, uh, everything is, it's almost a perfect predator hap when you're trying to breed a specific fish. You know, you don't want to breed a certain type of fish if your breeder male, you know, is, uh, you know, is just a so-so male because you're going to get so-so fry. But of the, the fish I have growing out in the fish room, I do have a, a group of fry from him. And to say that I'm excited and optimistic about how they're going to turn out is an understatement. I did get him from Southeast Cichlids. Uh, most of the fish that I have are from Southeast Cichlids. And uh, actually, I believe Southeast Cichlids in stock right now has male Tyrannochromus nigraventor um, from the same supplier that this fish is from. So if you like this Tyrannochromus nigraventor, I think you can get on the, the website for Southeast Cichlids. If you pick up a male that they have now, uh, they're wild, uh, you, you'll probably end up with a fish that's very, very similar to this. And of course, there's a promo code. There's always a catch. <laughs> so if you guys do want one of those, make sure you use that promo code. Save 10% on him. And um, honestly, that, that's what you're probably going to end up with. I know there's several other viewers that follow my channel that have gotten Nigraventor from Southeast Cichlids. And I've heard the same from everybody that's commented saying, you know, theirs has turned out just like this, that it's incredible. Uh, it's a great fish. And now again, that just happens. Um, I've bought super expensive fish from online retailers before local fish shops and they turned out to look like hot garbage and i've also you know bought a five dollar fish at a local swap meet and it turned into a stud so you never really know you know what kind of fish you're going to end up with but when for sure you know 
of a line of fish that is really nice you know that's something you want to act on if you're the type like me that likes to collect you know really really nice specimens so moving on from the Niger Venter you guys do know I I've got the group of Champsochromus corallius the Malawi trout also from southeast cichlids nobody's eaten yet today so all they're doing is hovering <laughs> hovering at the top making my video very very difficult let's feed them real quick North fin three millimeter. Maybe this will calm them down a bit and keep them where you can see them in the video. Now that they're out of the top of the tank, maybe you can see their colors a bit better. I mean, seriously, if you guys are looking for a Niger Venter, um, you're not going to find one much better than, than a line like that. So don't miss out if you're looking for one. The Champs, I think, is trying to breed, but the females aren't interested enough yet. They're still a bit small. But he's a stud as well from SEC, Southeast Cichlids. No, I haven't talked about that fish yet. I will when it's important. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed seeing the fish for a bit. Uh, let me know in the comments, you know, what you'd like to see from a YouTube channel. Uh, you know, I've been doing this channel since 2015. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos, and it's it's pretty common now that I run into you know uh, a video producer's version of writer's block. You know, I've covered everything at some point, so I in, in my opinion, I think maybe when I get to that point, which is now, maybe you just rather see the fish a bit more and hear me talk a bit less. Appreciate you stopping by as always. See you next time.